Hey folks, Bishop here, Do It Then Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed part one of our saddle hunt and rope series where we went through cutting the ropes and sealing the ends of the ropes with heat shrink tubing and burning and taping. In this new series, we're gonna talk about rope knots, very important knots such as stopper knots and loop knots and some other useful knots that I think you'll really enjoy. So stay tuned, we hope you learned something here from these videos. All right, the first set of knots we're going to talk about in this series are stopper knots. I love to use stopper knots at the bottom of my tether and lineman's belt uh, to prevent any type of you know serious injury if my mechanical device, a Kong duck or mad rock repelling device or a rope man or a hitch, if they give out and you're sliding down the rope, you want a stopper knot at the end of the rope to catch you. So the first knot we're going to just talk about, first stopper knot, is the figure eight. Very easy knot. We're going to make a loop, we're going to cross, come underneath and around and through the top. Just like that, through that front loop you can see very easily the figure eight and then you snug it up. And I'll show you again in a little bit slower. Okay, for the figure eight again, take your tag in and cross over, grab it here and come underneath just like so, and then through this top loop, there's the figure eight, and you snug it up very tight. Okay, the second knot we're gonna talk about is another stopper knot, another very good one. It's called a double overhand stopper knot. So there are two ways to tie this. The first way is to make a loop and tie a single overhand knot like you would normally. Go around again to what's considered a double and tighten it up very well. That's a double overhand knot. The alternate way to tie the double overhand is use your fingers. I like to use two. Come around once, come around twice. Make sure you wrap away from you. So we're not wrapping this way, we're wrapping this way, just like so. Grab the loop and come through here and this makes it very nice. This is my favorite way to tie it. That's a double overhand. I'll show you again going a little bit slower. So double overhand one more time going a little slower. Use single or double fingers. You wrap around once, wrap around twice, grab it just like so. Run that through the middle hole and there's your double overhand. Similar to the double overhand, and my favorite is what we call the barrel knot. Exactly the same as the double overhand, except instead of wrapping twice, you wrap three or more times. You really can wrap it four. I've never really gone over four times, but I'll show you various, various several various methods. So same thing, I'm gonna go around my finger once, go twice, go three times, and come through the middle for a nice barrel knot. Let me reset and do it again. All right, going with the barrel knot again. This time I'm gonna take a lot of slack and I'm gonna actually do four loops. Make sure you loop away from you. There's one, two, three, four, and I'm going up through the middle of that, all of that, for a nice barrel knot. This is my favorite stopper knot. Really like it. One last time, going slow, I'll reset the knot. All right, barrel knot for the last time. Make sure you give yourself a good bit of slack. I'm gonna use one finger this time. I'm gonna wrap once, wrapping away twice, away three times, come around, grab it all, come through the middle, and there's your nice barrel knot. Great stopper knot. Now this last stopper knot I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, to stop you from falling off your tether or lineman's belt is a stevedore knot or stevedore knot. It's another very easy one where you just make a loop. We're going to go around our loop twice and then underneath and tighten it up just like so. And that's a stevedore. I'll reset and tie it one more time slowly. Give myself a good bit of tag in for the stevedore. Going slow, 
there's our loop. We're gonna go over once, go back over it again, twice, and then we'll come through the bottom, just like so, and snug that up. Dress that nut up very well. And that's the stevedore stopper. Okay, this next knot is very cool. People often ask me, Bishop, how do you get your tether to stay in the tree? When I loop my rope around the tree like so, a lot of times it wants to slide. What I'll use is a Kelton, Celtic button stopper knot, as you can see here, and I'll push it up against this uh, oval link to hold it against the tree. This is a very cool knot, as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to tie this Celtic button. They call it a stopper knot, but it's really like a slider knot just to hold your rope in place. I really like this knot. So it's, uh, it's a little different and a little more complex than any of the other knots we're going to tie. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is put some 8 millimeter rope here just so I have an end that you can see here in a bit. But I'll use this same six millimeter TRC piece. So bear with me here. We're gonna make a loop and another loop, just like that. We're gonna take this tag in and go under or through the top, under the middle, and down through this right side. Now keep this, this is the middle. This is where this rope is going to end up feeding through. So now what you do is you come around with this tag in and you go down through and up through the middle of all of this. Now I can grab my tether rope or lineman's belt rope, whatever I want, and pull it here. And then you dress all of this up. So you have to really work it, work it around to get this thing good and tight. You have to follow all of the loops and pull them tight until you get them close to one of the ends. But it's pretty easy not to tie. It's just kind of difficult to, to dress it up is what they call this. We're getting close though. There we go. And you can see this is dressed up and you can keep messing with it and tighten it, but you can see it slides very tight up and down. And what you'll do is you'll cut here. Using my first video on showing you how to cut and seal the ends, you'll cut here and here, which is gonna leave you with a dressed up button like this. So one more time, I'll tie the Celtic button. Let me reset the knot. All right, so using this six millimeter TRC, we'll do the Celtic button. And in a later video series, I'll actually show you how to use it. So create one loop and hold it with your thumb. Create another loop. I'm gonna actually go to the very end so we can make sure we have enough tag in. So there's your first loop and second loop. We're going over the top in, into this first hole, coming back through the middle and down through the right, leaving this space. Now we're gonna loop all the way around. I'm gonna put my finger in the middle. We're gonna go all the way around and through underneath everything and come back through the middle just like this. Now this is where, like I said, you can tighten it up around a rope if you would like. And then you work really hard to dress the knot up really well. So just keep pulling all of this slack out, following the slack all the way through until you get somewhere close to the end, which we should be right there. And that you can slide it up and down. And you don't even have to put this on one of these. You can, you know, have it just as a as a self knot, but it works really well to slide up and down your, your tether. 
to keep it on the tree. Very good knot. All right, so now we're gonna migrate away from the stopper knights and go to some of the loops that I make. You may make these loops to attach uh, a carabiner to it or attach it to a D loop or anything like that. The first one we're gonna do is an overhand on a bite. Similar to the overhand knot earlier, you have two pieces of rope here. You make a loop. You come around and underneath, and there's your overhand on a bite. Another very smart thing to do is anytime you have a loop is to come and to put a stopper knot in that loop. I'll use a double overhand this time. So now, if I have any type of D-loop or carabiner or anything like that, you know, if I needed to, I can attach it. So we'll tie this one more time. Double overhand on a bite, second tie. So I have my piece of Sterling TRC folded in half and make a loop here. There's my loop. And it's just basically, I'm gonna create this loop, doubled over, bring it through. And then always put a stopper knot on the tag in. Now that we've got that loop, we can use a figure eight on a bite. Very similar to the overhand on a bite, but as you can imagine, we're gonna do a figure eight this time. So we have the loop, but instead of going here and coming in, like the overhand, we're gonna go all the way around and come over the top. And there's your figure eight on a bite. Very strong knot. Again, tie something here, a double overhand or a figure eight or something to make a tag in, to make a, a stopper knot for that tag in. Always have something there. And you can attach this to your carabiner or if this is what you want for your tether loop, you just run your tether through there. Very easy. Now I'll show it again. Gonna reset the knot. Okay, second time on the figure eight on a bite. Make your loop, go over. Remember if you go straight through here, that's a overhand on a bite, but we're gonna continue around and back over the top. It's just like the figure eight knot, except you're using, you know, double strands. Figure eight on a bite. Super easy. Back around to make a loop underneath and through the top. So this next knot we're gonna talk about is very important. Uh, I was talking to a guy the other day telling him I was gonna do a video on climbing ropes and he said, well, you need to cover the Alpine butterfly knot. It's a very versatile knot. It's a way to put a loop anywhere in your rope and it holds really well and it's really easy to get undone. So I'm gonna show you the two methods of the Alpine butterfly. First thing you wanna do is wrap it around your hand three times. Now, what we're going to do is call this one, two, three. So what we're going to do is grab number two and pull it under number one and then wrap it on top of number one and three and come back under all of it. Just like that. And that is an alpine butterfly knot. I'll show you one more time real quick. Very easy to get undone. So wrap it around your hands, hand once. Wrap it around twice, three times. So one, two, three. Or excuse me, one, two, three. We're going to grab number two, pull it under number one, go over the top of number one and three with number two, and then go back under all of them. Just like so. for the Alpine butterfly knot. 
And no matter how tight this knot gets, you just take it and pull it open just like this and you can get it undone. The next way to do this knot is very easy, probably a little easier. You're just gonna take and make a loop, twist it twice, like so. And you have this part here that opens up. You're gonna take it and fold this underneath everything, just like that, and come back through that middle loop that you made. And tighten it up and turn it around and you can see, same deal. Take it like this to get it undone. Very, very good knot. All right, so I'll show you the Alpine butterfly knot one more time. So twist it slowly, just like that, twice. You're gonna have this piece right here. So you're gonna hold it down here, go over, and then back through all of it. Just like that. Very good knot. Alpine butterfly knot. Very versatile loop knot, and you can tie it anywhere in your rope. Now this last loop is my favorite one. This is called a poacher's knot. And I'm gonna reach over here and grab a carabiner to show you why. All right, so the reason I like this poacher's knot is because it, 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 it will tighten. And this is what I use on all my hitches. It'll look just like this when you get through. Poacher's knot, poacher's knot. And then here I have either a double overhand stopper or a barrel, whatever you choose. So here's how we're gonna tie. Make yourself a nice loop. Go under, around twice, and then back through this middle piece and pull it tight. And this is where I would put some sort of stopper knot, barrel knot, or double overhand. But what I like about this is I can attach it to a carabiner and it gets really tight. This is my favorite loop knot for my carabiners. This is what I use for my hitches. But just make sure you put a stopper knot here. So I'll tie it one more time. Let me reset the knot. Okay, going again with the poacher's knot. We're going to create a loop with our tag in up here. Like so. We're going to go around twice and then back through the middle. It's almost like you're doing a, it's almost like you're doing a double overhand around this. And again, it tightens up, but make sure to put a stopper on this tag. Last time on the poachers, I'll show it one more time because I really like it, it's my favorite knot. All right, third time on the poachers, make your loop. Go around once, around twice, and you can see the hole where my finger is. Just come right through here. Just like that. Poacher's knot. Great knot. All right, so what happens when we need to make one continuous loop out of this piece of rope for like a Prusik? Um, what you'll do is use a double fisherman's knot. Very easy to tie. We just take the tag in here. We go around once, back around twice, and come right through this whole piece here. and snug that up. Then we flip the rope over and make sure we got another big tag in and we do the exact same thing again. Around once, cross over twice. You have this X here and you're going to bring the rope up through there.
just like so. And then you can snug it up. So what it looks like is here you have a barrel, and over here you have two X's. And this thing's going nowhere. Now you can twist it around your tether or your lineman's belt for a Prusik. So I'll reset this rope and we'll tie it again, the double fisherman's knot. All right, gonna attach these two again with the double fisherman's knot. So take a tag in, go around once, over, and come up through, just like so. That's one side. Turn it over and give yourself enough slack to go around, make this X, come back underneath, and then back through like so. Pull it tight and check it out. You have a barrel and you have two X's. Awesome knot, double fisherman's knot. Holds very, very well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this part two series where we covered all different types of stopper knots and loop knots and other various knots that are super useful and very important in the saddle hunting world. Be very careful when you tie in these knots. Do your research, make sure you got them right, make sure they're tight. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you next time for part three where we covered Prusix and various hitch knots. Thanks again and safe hunting from the boys at Do It Then Outdoors. Do it.